Let's get to the overall picture of your portfolio. We know that after the financial crisis hit, many of you probably felt like hockey players after the playoffs, bloodied, bruised, and beaten down. But can you actually learn to grow your money by behaving like a hockey player, financial advisor and former NHL goalie Bernie Wolf is right here with me. He's chairman and CEO of Bernard R. Wolf and Associates. He thinks so. He now runs a successful wealth management business, joins us in a Fox Business exclusive. So the lessons of hockey. We've seen every college football coach and basketball coach write a book about the lessons of teamwork. Please tell me there's more to this than just that. Well, you have to learn to be a good team player, but... I learned a, a few other things, uh, how to adapt to change, and we've seen plenty of that in the financial world. Mm -hmm. I've um, learned to be um, able to adjust, um, like when we used to play hockey, there would be different teams that would, they would know, um, they would do certain things, shoot pucks more often than stick handle, and I had to adapt. And um, discipline is the key. And, and the investor has to be m much more disciplined today and not just make moves based on today's news. Bertie, when you talk about adapting, are you talking specifically about adapting to all of the issues that you see out there on the financial landscape, such as the problems that we see with Europe, maybe a China slowdown? And doesn't that mean that you have to be a way more active investor? Exactly. Um, the old-fashioned way of buy and hold I think it only works today if you have an 80-year time horizon. Oy. I don't have that. Um, I think the 100-year flood is happening now every 10 years. And because of that, we need to be, it's no longer good enough to be diversified amongst asset classes like uh, stocks and bonds, but you have to be diversified in bear market strategies bull market strategies and what we call alternative investments that are not fluctuating daily based on the stock market. Well, let's get to some of those. So you're saying that it's no longer good enough. You know, we should all evolve, really, at learning from new experiences and, and moving forward. It, people used to simply eat by the food pyramid. Well, we know now that that's totally lame and you've got to change it up and add more vegetables rather than just so many carbohydrates and grains. But let's get to some of the ideas, the investment ideas that you feel work best now. Well, um, alternatives. Now, you can't all too much of anything is not good, um, but Yale and Harvard endowments have, I've been told, 70 plus percent in alternatives today. Mm -hmm. um, the things that I consider alternatives are senior debt portfolios that are paying monthly income to our clients. Senior debt gets paid before everybody except the IRS, mm -hmm. so relatively safe. Um, leasing transactions because there are companies out there that are raising a lot of money and making um, buying equipment and leasing it to major corporations uh, because the banks aren't doing it and a lot of companies don't want to carry equipment on their balance sheets so these are all providing investors seven eight percent current yield what would you tell people to avoid right now what's on your radar where you say forget it well I'm nervous, even though the Fed has talked a little bit today about um, making, a, you know, re uh, loosening up a little bit more. But I am nervous about buying long-term bonds. One, you're not getting any yield for it. Yeah. And there's always been an inverse relationship between interest rates and the value of the bonds. So I'm worried about that. I'm also worried, and I caution client, uh, clients not I don't think we're in a bull market now. Mm -hmm. I really think we're in a secular bear market. And I think uh, stocks might be overpriced. So I don't want them jumping on the bandwagon at this point. Bernie Wolf, he played goalie for the Washington Capitals in the 70s. And, and who do you pick for the, <laughs> the Stanley Cup in 2013? Well, I know, I I know you're a Los Angeles Kings fan. So <laughs> I'd say, well, they'll be the uh, current uh, favorite. But I'd love to see my old Washington Capitals win. Wait, is that a stash? Did you have a mustache back then? Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs>
I didn't know. You look I didn't, like Rogi Vachon. I, oh, well, thank you. Yeah, no, he was. Um, I know Rogi, and uh, but, but that's what the, it was cool in those days. But it got too gray. Lots of pressure. Lots of pressure on a goalie, but with a half a billion in assets under management, seems you're doing pretty well. Thank you, Bernie. Well, thank you for having me. Bernie Wolf is Bernard R. Wolf and Associates chairman and.